Hello dear learners, I am Dr. Madhuri Huda from Department of Education, Maharshi Dhanan University, Rohtak. Today, we will discuss inquiry approach and integrated approach as the pedagogical approaches in teaching of science. The learning outcomes of the present session are, after going through the present session, you will be able to understand the meaning of inquiry and integrated pedagogical approach. You will be able to understand the procedure of inquiry and integrated pedagogical approach. You will be able to understand the advantages and disadvantages of integrated and inquiry pedagogical approach. First of all, we will discuss inquiry approach and then we will discuss integrated approach and these will be certain subtopics we will be discussed under this session. Inquiry approach is related to inquiry about the topic and students remain an active learner in this approach and if a teacher wants to inculcate the spirit of inquiry among the students, then inquiry approach should be used by the teacher. Inquiry based learning approach is a pedagogical approach to learning which emphasizes the student's role in learning process. Instead of a scenario where teacher is busy in transacting the information, students are encouraged to explore the learning content. They ask questions and share their experiences. They are free to find answers with the help of research, engagement in activities which help in finding the answers or work in collaboration for getting the answers. Entire learning process revolves around these questions. During the process of learner's engagement, learners realize that responsibility of learning lies with them. Inquiry-based pedagogical approach can be discussed from two perspectives, learner's perspective and teacher's perspective. From learner's perspective, this approach focuses on investigating a problem or finding the answers to open questions. Answer finding is done with the help of searching of the reference material, creative problem solving and evidence-based reasoning. Students must defend or represent their evidences. Inquiry-based pedagogical approach can be discussed from teacher's perspective also. And we can say in this approach, teachers work for helping the students to go beyond simple curiosity to a level of critical thinking and reasoning. Teachers encourage the students to ask questions and support them through the process of investigation. Adequate presentation of puzzling event and organizing a structured inquiry activity may be the task of the teacher and various form of inquiry activities can be used by the teachers like case studies, research projects, group projects, field work for the lessons of science, unique exercises specific for different situations and all these type of activities direct students to develop and adopt unique strategies for finding answers to their questions. Now let us discuss the various types of inquiry based learning. There are different types of inquiry based learning approach ranging from very structured to the least structured suitable for different type of classrooms. First is confirmation inquiry. Here teacher gives questions to the students along with the answers and method of reaching that answer. The aim is to develop investigation and critical thinking skills. Second is structured inquiry. Teacher gives students the open-ended questions and the method of investigation. And students are required to reach on evidence-based conclusion. Third is guided inquiry. Open question is given to students in group and here the students design investigation method to reach the conclusion. Fourth, open inquiry. Teacher only provide time and support to the students and students are to present original questions as per their own curiosity level. Then now we will discuss the steps. Inquiry approach starts with the selection of a topic. The topic in science uh, may be the functioning of an electric fan and then the related and some puzzling event like switching of the fan in summers by the teachers can be planned. And once some puzzling event happens, students are prompted to ask the questions to the teacher. The teacher should not give answer to the students and let the students inquire themselves. The task which the teacher is to do is to answer the questions of the students in yes or no. And these questions may not be the answer, rather these are in the form of hypothesis. And such interaction between teacher and students will continue and then the students will be asked to verify their hypothesis with the help of reference material. They may be prompted to carry out small experiments also and the verification of hypothesis with the help of reference material and experiments lead to some collected data. An interpretation of this data and the result is approved by the teacher. So in this approach students remain engaged in the inquiry process and instead of receiving the ready made information they are the creator of the knowledge. Then there are some benefits of inquiry pedagogical approach. In this approach Students are active learner. 
as they are questioning and studying the things they are concerned about the things so uh, so keenly that they automatically acquire many new skills simultaneously inquiry based pedagogical approach is based on inclusion because everyone is able to access learning by getting answers to their questions in this approach teacher and students both know that the voice and curiosity of the students matter second it's pave the way for a student centered curriculum then teaching of science based on inquiry approach help in developing curiosity in students and some experts believe that this approach takes the teaching process away from the stipulated curriculum but it facilitates the learners to associate the curriculum with the experiences it facilitates the students to think out of the box and in development of mental capabilities related to reasoning problem solving and abstract thinking students get detailed insight into the principles of learning and here the learner is at the center of learning process and here in this approach learner is active and independent to choose their own styles of learning it helps in building of their self confidence and improve self learning also here the learners are completely engaged in learning process and this approach hooks the learners completely till the end of the learning process further there are some other benefits also inquiry based pedagogical approach is applicable in any type of classroom setting and experts believe that the classroom communication started with good questions benefits the entire class and one good question also inspire and provokes others also to engage in productive session and inquiry based learning method promotes a deeper understanding of the content and the same principle applies to experiential learning also which also keeps the students at the center there are some limitations and disadvantages of this approach also the teaching based on this approach is very slow and consume lot of time moreover all the topics and complete content transaction is difficult to be done by this approach and this approach may not be appropriate for all the children from different age group as it demands a lot of maturity and focused behavior on the part of learners and moreover teachers also need adequate training and practice to use this approach in the methodology of te uh, teaching then now we'll discuss integrated pedagogical approach in teacher education there has been continuous emphasis on the integration of knowledge theory and practices a strong criticism by teaching community is related to lack of integration between theory and practice the integrated approach helps the students to get a integrated picture of reality and increase their capability to acquire real life skills here in this approach learning content of different subjects area are linked and there is integration when students are able to connect what they are learning in one subject to a content of other subject let us see what is the rationale of integrated approach we see we and we always admit that relationship exists among different things an integrated approach acknowledges this relationship and the subsequent integrated curriculum results which is synthesized across different curricular areas and learning experiences this approach helps in developing students ability to transfer learning in other situations also researchers have also proved that integrated approach to learning is brain compatible the more the connections made by the brain the opportunities for giving high level inferences increases to achieve an integrated approach in school curriculum the unifying themes may be used and these themes may use meaningful activities and connect different learning domains such as language math and social studies there are some unique features to integrated curriculum these may be this curriculum includes experiences for developing children's attitude skills knowledge and enables them to interconnect the various subject areas the activities included under integrated curriculum provide for a range of abilities to be developed among students the groups for teaching may include the whole class small group or a single individual opportunities provided focus on critical and creative thinking assessment may be made by the teacher or by the peers or self assessment and students get the opportunity to experience learning as a whole there may be some different strategies for integrated pedagogical approach first is incorporation of integrated curriculum the teacher must start by adapting the lesson plans for diversity by modification in activities lessons and the projects for the whole students working and implementing new interdisciplinary ways of presentation of old pics all topics and content 
presenting problems of mathematics in the form of poems or integrating math with art by using numbers while finger painting classroom environment should encourage creativity designing and developing activities that engage students in exploring manipulating combining and transforming the objects in the classroom for example some techniques may be used like teaching shapes with the help of craft making teaching animals by use of clay modeling and third materials and techniques used in teaching should be appropriate to age and grade of students and play and uh, child centered activity should facilitate learning while planning of activities interrelate the cognitive affective and psychomotor domain there may be some methods of integrating the curriculum first is using theme which may be teacher centered second it may be child centered it may be teacher initiated planned and supported or teacher team initiated plan and whole staff supported so these may be certain uh, things second is use of projects project is investigation of a topic but differ from traditional thematic work in project work disciplines are naturally integrated and in project work no need of giving distinctions and to weigh the number of activities in each discipline the task of project work is to orient students about learning something using the available resources using knowledge and skills for reaching the goal and the skills and knowledge acquired in formal instructions are best learned when applied in real situations third is using individual and small group studies this is another way when a teacher designed for integrated curriculum here individual and small group studies are allowed for teachers on the basis of interest and curiosity of the students topics are initiated by the students or the group of students and teachers provide resources and the necessary skills for the students now let us discuss what are the benefits of integrated pedagogical approach effective integrated programs help in presenting the curricular content in an integrated way students become capable to understand the interrelationship between various subject areas second students use multiple perspectives related to a single concept which is being taught because in every field there is no relationship between one event and another event rather one event is the result of multiple factors so multiple perspective related to a event or phenomena is developed third integrated curriculum content is child centered and provide opportunities for cross cultural sharing and the last an integrated curriculum allows learning in an in a holistic way in school programs this approach focuses on interrelatedness of all the curricular areas integrated approach drives the entire teaching learning process through a student centered process the curriculum becomes student centered responsive and sensitive towards diversities and differences it become accommodating and it is based upon individualized nature of the students and this approach also helps in ensuring that students can learn more and are competent to go to another level in an education ladder so students now let us discuss what we have discussed in this session today today we have discussed two pedagogical approaches one is inquiry pedagogical approach and other another is integrated pedagogical approach we have discussed both these approaches in detail and we further discussed the inquiry approach along with its steps its characteristics its benefits and its delimitations secondly we discussed integrated approach the rationale of using integrated approach after discussing the rationale of integrated approach we discussed in detail about integrated curriculum and how integrated curriculum can be incorporated in the classroom second thing we discussed how a teacher can implement integrated classroom by the use of various techniques and various strategies where is by use of simple techniques different subjects can be integrated there was a example like using uh, animals can be taught by the use of clay modeling then we further discussed the nature of integrated approach we discuss the advantages of integrated approach and certain delimitations also so after uh, i hope you have enjoyed the learning session of these two pedagogical approaches so wishing you all the very best for your learning and for the for your coming sessions thank you